Gaza. Little Muhammad is awoken by a familiar sound. It's not his alarm. It's not the Adhan. It's that bird in the sky. Not the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the work of the shaitan. Bang! Mama, it's okay, Muhammad. It's okay. Don't worry, Habibi. Inshallah, everything will be fine. Muhammad is a small boy. Like many beautiful children in Palestine. And this morning is no different. He starts getting ready for school. Washes his face, gets dressed, eats breakfast, puts his little bag over his shoulders and says, Assalamu Alaikum, Mama. Wa Alaikum Assalam, Muhammad. See you when you come back from school, inshallah. Okay, Mama. He sets up on the roads of Gaza and he walks and he sees this big gate. Checkpoint. They're familiar to our brothers and sisters in Gaza and all over Palestine. He has to go through that to get to school. Imagine me and you had to go through a checkpoint to go to school. I can't imagine. Imagine me and you had to go through a checkpoint to get our food. I can't imagine. So Muhammad is searched by these big daunting men with guns. And they get his little bag and search it. What do they find? Pens, papers, and his pack lunch. They give his bag back and say, on your way. He starts walking to school and as he gets to school, he hears a familiar sound in school and he hears it crying. He says, why is Ali crying? Oh, his father died today, Mom. Oh, no. So little Muhammad goes up to Ali and says, Ali, I'm really sorry for your passing. Inna lillahi wa inna lahi rajim. It's okay, Muhammad, thank you. And Ali continues crying. The day is normal. Learning, playing, smiling, remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. School's finished, so Muhammad sets off home. Goes through that checkpoint again, but this time, different men. I guess a shift changed. And as he's walking home, he sees something really weird. Where's my home? What's my bed doing outside? What are these people crying for? What? Mama, Baba? And he goes and somebody shows him on the floor. There's two bodies covered in white sheet. And he's like, Mama, Baba, where are my Mama and Baba? And they show him the faces. It's his Mama and Baba. Zoom to me in London, sitting in my living room. I put the TV on. Watch the news and Israeli Defense Secretary. Suspected terrorists, we had to do it. Back to Muhammad. And he's on his knees with his little hands in the air to Allah. Oh Allah. My mama and papa. Oh Allah, what am I going to do? There are many Muhammads in Palestine. Israel has announced its plans to build over a thousand new homes in the occupied West Bank. Don't forget last year, Israel also announced the building of a thousand new housing units. It doesn't matter. The point is that this is non-news. I mean, it's true the international community opposes Israeli policies, but it won't do anything to sanction Israel, and Israel knows it. And it knows that whether Obama's elected or Romney's elected, its trump card is the American Congress, support that Israel has from both political parties, and it doesn't care anymore. It'll do this in the light of day. Israel has eliminated the two-state solution, as it's called. 
It's completely imprisoned the Palestinians, and no one in the world is going to speak up against it. So but you talk, it you talk, you talk really about a thousand new homes. I'm sorry, sorry to jump the in, but you, you talk about Israel a thousand, wins. a thousand new homes being constructed. That is no small project indeed.